Hi everyone, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. Today I want to go over the Pattern Stamp Tool. If you click and hold on to the Clone Stamp Tool, it will be the second one on there in the flyout menu. It's a little bit different from the Clone Stamp Tool. It does have its uses when you want to create a pattern, for example. And you can apply this with specific brushes for unique effects. So go ahead, to get started, go ahead and go to File New and uh, just create a space big enough for it to work in. So mine's going to just be 1680 by 1050 pixels. I'm going to click OK. And I'll just show you what it does. Uh, it does use brushes. So if I just use a default soft edge brush here and I select a pattern, say these bubbles here, and I, I just click and drag, it just repeats that pattern wherever I brush in. Since I have a, a soft edge brush, it has a soft edge to it. Now, if you do normal, that's the default, and there's a bunch of different blending modes there, exactly like the ones on the layers panel. All right, different layer blending modes. Uh, the opacity, of course, is just how transparent it is, how opaque it is. Uh, and then this option relates to pressure with opacity, and then the next one, enabling airbrush style to build up effects. You can also adjust that in the brushes palette. Um, and then you can choose your actual pattern here. Now aligned is pretty important. If you hit aligned, if you uncheck it, whenever you click and drag a new pattern area, it's not going to be aligned with the original. So if I have a line selected, if I click and drag, and then I let go, and then I click and drag again, it's going to be aligned with the original the first time that we click and drag. Impressionist just has kind of this impressionist look to it. Um, kind of blurry and hazy uh, look. So maybe if you're going to a specific look, kind of a more subtle background, but you can also adjust the pressure using pressure for size as well there. By default, that's going to be off. So is that going to be off as well? Um, so that seems, you know, when would I use that? Well, maybe when you're doing a repeating background. But what's pretty cool, just like you can create custom brushes, you can also create custom patterns. So I have a photo here. Uh, go ahead and open up a photo and make it a little bit smaller. So mine made about 400 pixels by 600 pixels. Uh, so go ahead and resize one. Select it all with the marquee selection tool. Just click and drag around it. Or do Control or uh, Command A to select it all. And then what you want to do is go to Edit and then Define Pattern and then Name It. All right. So then when you go back to your other image here, I'm going to fill this with white, so just start with a new kind of a blank canvas. Uh, so now when you choose the pattern stamp tool again, if you go up to the top and select it, we have our new defined pattern there. And then if you click and drag in here, it will repeat that pattern or whatever photo. It could be a drawing, an illustration, or like this, just a photo. All right. What you can do, and it gets pretty creative, is instead of using the default, all right, that had its uses if you just wanted a simple repeating background, but it, you could use some other kind of more artistic brushes, and you can do the left and the right bracket to resize it. Of course, you could also resize it up here. And then if I click and drag in, it has a different kind of look to it, right? More of a jagged edge. And of course it will repeat because this is a pattern. All right. So we can be pretty creative with not only creating custom patterns to use later, whether it be an illustration or a photo. You can also use custom brushes or preset brushes for a specific look as well. So that's the pattern stamp tool. Thanks, and please subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. This has been Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. Thanks.